Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk Movies YouTube page. Today's video we're going to be talking about Star Wars Episode 9. And there's a few interesting things that have actually popped up in the last couple of hours and we'll be going over them. The first one is regarding the actual Episode 9's title. If you remember a couple of days ago we did talk about that the balance of the force was leaked by someone on reddit who looked into the code on the starwars.com website and supposedly that's what they found but obviously as fans we want to know exactly what's going to happen and exactly what's going to be called before we even see the movie so as it turns out so do the, so do the people who even work for lucasfilm they don't even know what the title is pablo Hidalgo, a member of the Lucasfilm Story Group, recently admitted on Twitter that while he may be on the inside of many Star Wars decisions, he has no idea what the name of the final episode of the trilogy is called. And he recently tweeted, If it has a title, I don't know. Pablo takes things a step further on Twitter that says you know, he simply doesn't know what the title of episode 9 will be and he adds that the idea with the movie may not even have a title as of yet. That is a possibility because we have seen people in the past, they haven't released the actual title of films up until about three or four months beforehand. And this has kind of worked out for Avengers. Look at the situation, you know, Disney, show Disney that the buzz around the question of what the movie will be called is as good as any marketing the studio can pay for. Since we only got the title of the new Avengers movie a handful of months ago, which, you know, we had it in December and this, you know, is like, what, have we got April now? So we're looking at a good four months before the film was even released. This uh, this kind of uh, strategy could, well, it, well, not could, it will certainly work for Star Wars. It doesn't really matter what the title is because people just throw, gather at the theatres to see Star Wars because it is the last movie that is supposedly going to change the entire fate of the entire franchise. Yeah, obviously, you know, it is closing the Skywalker saga. This was started more than 40 years ago by George Lucas. Obviously, when Lucas sold Lucasfilm back in late 2012, he's, I, he did sell his ideas to Disney regarding what he wanted the, the last trilogy to be. But obviously, they have gone with their own uh, stories and they want to close it out how they can see fit. Mostly for future stories and for future implications that they will just keep on making Star Wars movies, even if the Skywalkers are no longer involved. Another interesting uh, tidbit that has popped up is regarding Harrison Ford. He has recorded dialogue in the past that was actually meant to appear in teaser trailers for, and also the movie, which are now obviously they are classed as deleted scenes for The Force Awakens. That's interesting as well because we obviously we haven't seen these deleted scenes. They were not on the Blu-ray and we also did, haven't heard any of the lines that were in the teaser trailers by him, apart from obviously the ones that were in the movie, you know, Chewie were home and oh, I knew Luke, obviously before all this, everything you've heard is real. The big question regarding all of this is, will Harrison Ford appear in episode 9 or will it just be voiceover or will it be flashbacks to those deleted scenes? This we don't know and this is what we can look forward to. This is particularly interesting as it shows that we do have unused plot points or scenes that have yet to be seen. What do these lines or scenes behold? Are they important? Are they only there just to make the scene carry on and fluff them up? No one knows, which is the best thing about this movie. Like I said before, people will just turn up to watch Star Wars, no matter what the name of the title is, and no matter what their opinion of The Last Jedi was. Using these past recordings is great though, as it does tell fans that Harrison Ford is going to be a part of Episode 9 in some form. Obviously, like I said earlier, you know, this franchise is going to close out with the end of the Skywalker saga. And it's supposed to change the entire fate of the entire franchise. This Again, this you know, if Balance of the Force is the title... 
that could be obviously Kylo and Rey have come together. They could end up married. They could end up having their own child. Or it could all go tits up and Kylo Ren wins. Which I think is what we want. We all want personally. And obviously Kathleen Kennedy. She's not going to have Rey not win though. Obviously with her being in charge of Lucasfilm. And the past recent spates of failures for Solo. And... The way she's firing people left, right and centre over their views. And that if she doesn't like their view, she gets rid of them. She is this... She is... How can I say this nicely without being politically incorrect? Actually, no. She is a social justice warrior. She has her own bunch of people. They all want to be a part of it. They all want Ray to succeed. Yeah, you know, a woman, this, that and the other. But it's regarding the Skywalker franchise... The entire franchise is Skywalker. It's not Rey. It's not... You know what? I don't. You can't even remember her name. The Chinese girl from the last film. The one who was with Finn. It's Rose. There we are. Only that because I'm looking here on the screen. There was no need for her to be in the film. There was no need for Finn to go to the casino planet. And I'm just babbling on here now because of what I just didn't like about the film, The Last Jedi. It, everything about it was just wrong. In all past... Star Wars movies, we've had a couple of women here and there. Leia was the prime candidate, she was the main focus. But now, you obviously had Leia, you had the General, you had tons of other people who just didn't seem to fit there. It's, if, if the character needs to be a woman, then yes, go for it. But don't just put people in there if they don't fit. You know, you had the General, I can't remember her name, but she was played by um, Laura Dern. She made a great sacrifice. She was meant to be this great leader, this, that, and the other. But we didn't even know her until The Last Jedi. Where has she been for the last 40 years? No one knows. It was like she was just written, yeah, but write this as a female character. Put her in there. She could save everybody by going, you know, going into uh, hyperdrive, going into the ships. Which, if that's how they wanted to destroy him this time, why didn't they do that before? Or is that just miraculously Rian Johnson just going, oh, you know what would happen? We'll just do this. Right, I'm babbling on now about uh, Last Jedi, which we shouldn't be. Obviously, we need to go forward and just carry on and look forward to Episode 9, which is out on December 20th this year. And let's hope it is a game changer. We hope it closes the Skywalker saga off with a brilliant, brilliant ending for them. And we can finally sit back and go, you know what? This ain't too bad now, is it? So we're going to leave it by there for now and say thank you for tuning in, tuning to the channel. If you like what you hear or see, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.